Okay, so to kind of learn about the tortoise, or sorry, <laughs> learn about the tortoise and the hare. In order to learn about the uh, plot structure that we talked about and the different components in a way that makes a little bit more sense, it helps to look at examples. And so I thought I'd pick a story that pretty much everybody is familiar with, um, and if not, that's okay, because we're going to read it. And that is the story of the tortoise and the hare. And this is a very popular story. It's been um, done in a lot of different ways. Sometimes it's not actually a tortoise and a hare, which is a rabbit, by the way, but different types of animals or characters. I remember when I was a kid, I had a book called Goofy's Big Race. It was all about Goofy winning the race by going slow and steady, steady and slow. That's the way we always go. So um, it's this story is uh, super popular. So let's read it first all the way through and then we'll break down the different plot elements and talk about what they look like in this story so that you can start spotting them in other stories. And then ultimately you can make sure that when you write your own story, you are including all of the plot elements. <clears throat> all right, the tortoise and the hare. There once was a speedy hare who bragged about how fast he could run. Tired of hearing him boast, slow and steady, the tortoise challenged him to a race. All the animals in the forest gathered to watch. Hare ran down the road for a while and then paused to rest. He looked back at slow and steady and cried out, How do you expect to win this race when you are walking along at your slow, slow pace? Hare stretched himself out alongside the road and fell asleep, thinking there's plenty of time to relax. Slow and steady walked and walked. He never ever stopped until he came to the finish line. The animals who were watching cheered so loudly for Taurus they woke up the hare. Hare stretched and yawned and began to run again, but it was too late. Tortoise was over the line. After that, Hare always reminded himself, don't brag about your lightning pace, for slow and steady won the race. All right, so this is a very abbreviated form of this story, which means short. Um, so let's take a look again at our plot structure components and talk about how each of these fit in here. So remember, our first plot structure component is exposition, which is the start of the story and the way things are before the action starts. So let's peek back at the story and see where we can find that. It's right here. There once was a speedy hare who bragged about how fast he could run. Okay, so it's, a, it's very short, and in your story and in other stories you read, it'll be much longer. But this is kind of a little bit of background. We know that there's a hare, a type of rabbit, who is super fast, who likes to brag a lot about how fast he is. That's kind of the information that we need to know, first of all, to make it interesting. Okay, it makes you a little bit interested. You're like, oh, a rabbit who likes to brag. I need to know more about this. But also, this is crucial to know about his character for the rest of the story to make sense. We also know that tired of hearing him boast, slow and steady, which is the name of the tortoise, challenges him to a race. Okay, That's almost what I might call an inciting incident. It's not labeled here, but it would be about right here, right before this uphill steep thing starts. This would be an inciting incident. So the inciting incident is that the tortoise challenges that hare to a race. Okay. Now, I think it's easier to determine the climax first and then figure out what the rising action is because the climax, the rising action is everything that leads up to that climax, right? And we know that the climax is the turning point. Remember I said before in the other video, it's the point of no return. It is the most intense moment. Well, in this story, we have a race, right? So what is the most exciting part of a race? Obviously, it's going to be when somebody wins. And here we have it. Slow and steady, walked and walked. He never, ever stopped till he came to the finish line. The animals who were watching cheered so loudly that they woke up the hare. Okay? So at that moment, we know that slow and steady, the tortoise, wins the race. It's obviously going to be the climax, especially since... The hare doubted it so much, and maybe even the reader of the story doubted that the tortoise, who walks very slowly, could win against a very fast rabbit. We already know from our exposition that the rabbit, the hare, is very speedy. Okay? 
So that would be our climax. So what leads up to the climax? Okay, what is our rising action? So the rising action is going to be that all the animals in the forest gather to watch this race, um, that hare ran down the road and then stopped to rest. Okay, we know that he decided to mock uh, the tortoise, so instead he mocks him. How do you expect to win? And then we didn't know that he um, decides to take a nap. Okay, he fell asleep. So those are all the rising actions that we would list here if we were to plot out this story on this pyramid. So if we know that the climax is when he wins, what's the falling action? Okay, what action happens afterward? Well, we know that right after everybody's cheering, the hare wakes up to the tortoise winning, and he tries really quickly um, to run again. He makes one last ditch effort to win, but it's already too late course because the tortoise had already won he was already over the line so there's not a lot of falling action and that's really common in some stories there's very little almost no falling action it kind of depends on the story but in this story we have one little bit of falling action and that's that the the hare makes a last ditch effort to win but it's already too late Okay, and what's the resolution? What's the conclusion? How do we tie this all together? And remember I said in the other video, sometimes the resolution is um, the moral of the story kind of thing. Now this is what we call an Aesop's fable. Aesop is the, the author that's accredited with writing this story. It's an ancient, ancient story. Um, and Aesop's fables are known for kind of spelling it out to you. That's why a lot of times they're popular for little kids because they teach the kids a lesson and they come right out and tell you what the lesson is okay and here here's where it does that after that Hare reminded himself don't brag about your lightning pace for slow and steady won the race so um, it sort of comes right out and spells out what the moral of the story is to you although it doesn't say it directly how would you interpret this how I would interpret this is that first of all it's not good to brag that's one of the lessons that's learned here but also to keep going keep trying like the the tortoise slow and steady does he keeps trying and keeps trying and he manages to win against all odds he's the underdog okay so that would be the resolution here so now that you've kind of seen how I can plot out a common story that people most people are familiar with um, Hopefully, as you read the next story, which is the Scarlet Ibis, it's going to be obviously a lot more complicated because um, this story was written for little kids. Um, the Scarlet Ibis is written for somebody more your age, okay? So it's a little bit longer for one thing, and um, it's also maybe not quite as cut and dry. There might be some discussion when you get to collaboration groups about um, what is actually the climax, what is actually... Um, the rising and falling action that come before and after it. Okay, and a good thing to note is what is the resolution? What do you think that the, the life lesson, the theme could be here? Um, so keep this lesson in mind as you move forward in your playlist.